So it's recommended that you clean your pesticide sprayer after every application that you do. But with spring coming on and, and starting to catch the gardening fever, you may be thinking about getting your sprayer out and starting to get that ready. And one of the things that you should be considering is is, is your sprayer clean and ready to go and is it well maintained? So three things we want to consider when we're cleaning our spray equipment. First of all, we want to dilute the active ingredient. Number two, we want to flush the pesticide from the system. And number three, we want to clean it up so we can prevent corrosion or any damage from freezing liquids within the spray equipment during the winter time. The first thing we should do is clean our spray equipment by filling the spray tank half full of water, going out to the same target site per the label recommendation and making an application again to dispel that water back out of the system. And this should be done three times as a triple rinse in order to properly clean out the spray tank. If pesticides have been used in this sprayer and it's important to follow the same proper PPE recommendations on, that's on the label that you would follow when you're making an application. So for more information on properly maintaining and cleaning your pesticide application equipment, please reference the University of Wyoming Extension MP124 Pesticide Safety Education Program Manual or your local Extension office. This has been Caleb Carter with the University of Wyoming Extension and you're watching from the ground up.